Dan, John and his wife Heather were kayaking at Elkhorn Slough. All of a sudden, a sea otter jumped up onto the front of John's kayak, but it turns out it's not as uncommon as you would think. This is what happened when John Kester and his wife Heather went kayaking at Elkhorn Slough. When he started swimming over to the boat, swam right up next to the boat, and then he just jumped right in. Kester says he was shocked. Rolled onto his back, he started scratching his head. He turned around, he started sniffing my shoes. Kester says he felt prepared to handle the situation after getting a lesson from Monterey Bay Kayak Rentals that morning about how to handle bold sea otters in the area. Making sure the otters in this area, you know, feel comfortable in their natural environment. So we do a in-person orientation before every, um, for every class, tour, or rental. That way, new kayakers stay safe and keep the otters safe too. Jenna Bentall is a sea otter biologist and program coordinator for Sea Otter Savvy. She says there can be anywhere between 50 to more than 100 otters in the Moss Landing Harbor and Elkhorn Slough, which makes the probability of something like this happening quite common. It is a place where a lot of people are entering the water, engaging in marine recreation, and there's also a lot of otters living here as well. So the, the likelihood of some kind of an encounter is, is pretty high. She says the scary thing is not many people know otters can be dangerous and even compares them to wolverines. After 15 years of studying sea otters in the wild, I definitely would not want to have a sea otter in a small boat with me. They have sharp teeth, they're carnivores, they're clever animals, they can be aggressive if they feel threatened. Kester says he never felt scared, but after about a 15 minute ride around the harbor, he decided it was time for the otter to go. I didn't hit him, you can't touch him. So I kind of, you know, pretended like I'm going to shush him off the, uh, the boat with the paddle and finally he got the message and over the side he went. Now a few things to note here, you are supposed to keep a 50 foot distance from yourself uh, and the sea otters. If they do swim up to your kayak, you're supposed to paddle away and you're not supposed to touch them. John says he followed all of those rules. One other thing to note, if you do get too close to a sea, sea otter, you could be fined up to $3,000. Damn. It's kind of tough when they chase you down, though. So, very good. <laughs> no Thank you, Lauren.